Good Crafty Monday morning, people. Um, I have a design team project today for Country Craft Creations. And this was a special request um, mini album. I'm hoping she loves it, but if she doesn't, it will be for sale. <laughs> um, forgive my light over here. It's kind of a cloudy, gloomy day out, so I really needed the extra lighting. And so you're going to see this. There's no way I can get around it. So... I hope you can tell on the cover, I have coffee beans and it is a shaker pocket. I threw in a few teeny little blue buttons and I have some um, little cream colored seed beads in there. Um, I really, really, when I saw this collection, knew I needed to do something with the shaker pocket and I needed to use the coffee beans. Um, you can smell it if you hold it up close to you, but like it doesn't give off like a huger coffee aroma. So on the cover, I just used one of the, um, the cutouts from the collection. I really liked this particular sentiment. You are the flavor to my coffee, whipped cream to my mocha and sugar to my latte. And then of course, you know, I um, made it into a shaker pocket. Um, I had these flowers I picked up at Michael's a while back, and I just did a lot of layering with different flower appliques that I had. This is a petaloo, the blue is the petaloo, and then that flower on top. I had a couple of um, lace leaves in my stash, and I um, put those there, and then these flowers on each corner. Um, I did lace on the spine. Um, this pretty lace that I had in my stash, um, I just picked this one up at Michael's and then I layered the Chinese braid um, down the center. And then the lace wraps around to the back and then you have your coffee beans on the back. So this is an eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, it's made with the papers from Heartfelt Creators. Creations Coffee Talk, and of course you can pick up any of the Heartfelt Creations um, paper collections at Country Craft Creations along with tons of other ones. Um, you just need to head over and check it out. She carries all the latest and greatest, most popular uh, paper lines and collections, and you will love her pricing. Her shipping is amazingly quick, I kid you not. Um, I place an order and then I get it like the, on the third day. So, um, super, uh, super fast shipping. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on the inside and there is a whole lot going on in here, guys. This is, um, I only did eight pages and I did that because I knew I was going to create lots of different, uh, pockets for photos. So this is how it looks. It lays really nicely. I did not put a closure on it. I really don't like to put a closure on things, but sometimes I do. Um, okay, so this is our first page. And I made a little pocket here. I had some of this pretty um, trim in my stash. I had this um, paper clip, and all I did was glue this coffee and espresso latte um, little... Um, embellishment piece on there. I fussy cut this coffee cup onto my little pocket and then these are just journaling tags from the collection. You can put a photo on the back. This is one of the beautiful metal embellishments that were sent to me in my design team kit so I added that right there and of course another photo can go on the back. Those tuck in there. This opens up for a nice photo here and you can still see the pretty um, box pleated trim there and then here we have another pocket and I put some pretty lace that I a brown lace that I had in my sash for a long long time um, really love that and then the Chinese braid trim at the bottom I layered some more flowers and made the pocket and then this cute sentiment warms the soul inside and out so here's a journaling uh, card Room for photo on the back, a photo mat with coffee beans. And then this is also a photo mat, or it's light enough you could journal on one side and put a photo on the
the other. Again, this opens one more time and you've got a large area here. You've got a, a tuck spot where you can tuck your photo um, underneath the coffee cups. And then this pretty um, sentiment, coffee and you, my favorite way to start the day. Combination pick me up, way to chill. Simple pleasures. Very, very nice collection uh, from Heartfelt Creations here. Um, I did put the blue, the dark blue um, in my, my gusset area on each page. So this page here is a simple um, side pocket and I utilized this really cool image here in, in the collection. I did a layering of um, trims here and then another flower. This is a little paper clip that I also received from Heartfelt Creations. So really, really cute. And you can pick these up in the store. So, you know, photo on the back. You can put a little photo there. Um, another tag. And also a place for a photo. And then two large photo mats. These are Spellbinders dies. So there's quite a bit of room for things in that pocket. Then our next page, I have another one of those really beautiful flower metal corner pieces there. And um, I have this little um, layered bow applique, a little tuck spot here. So you can put your photo in this, it can tuck right, I'll show you. I actually think this is meant to go there. <laughs> so that opens up like this and we have simple pleasures here and a great coffee cup a nice photo could go here or you could crop one here and one here um, then we've got another pocket i did a lot of uh, layering this lace you can also pick this up at country craft creations um, very beautiful i used it throughout the album and then i layered this navy trim and and this pretty um pearl trim I have in my stash and then you have your tag your photo mat and another shaped photo mat and those tuck in there and that closes like that then this opens up again like this you've got this little pocket on this side and you could put a photo here and then you've got a place for photos on both sides of this and then of course this large area for photos so then on this page this is a large pocket page i'm going to pull this i'm going to try to pull this out okay there we go sometimes the first time it's hard to do so i love this sentiment in the moment relaxation in every sip beautiful image and then this image again we just saw and that one's on the back and that let me pull these out tucks in back behind behind here love all the little coffee cups up there so that tucks in like that you've got the pretty uh, lace with pearl trim there then you've got these two um, it can either be a photo mat or a journaling spot. The photo could go on the back. And then this one, and I've got the layered um, flower on there. That tucks back behind here. And then um, another one of those little paper clips. And this little um, embellishment says, I love coffee. Um, Chow you bean. And this is just a little tuck spot for this tag, um, some box pleated trim, more pearl trim across the top. And you can always um, put a photo here and then still tuck your card in there. So this, I, I had never seen this done before. I, it probably has been done, but this just kind of unfolds out like this. And then it unfolds again and again. So three, four, five six seven eight nine nine photos in this one little space so our next page is a simple pocket page um, simple in the fact that it's just a pocket 
but it's got this beautiful lace um, showing through with the navy in the background. I layered the brown across. Um, I just kind of collaged and stacked some um, fussy cut these images on top of this one. Warms the sole inside and out. Another uh, layered bow. And I knew this was going to stick. So here is a large photo mat. And even if you wanted to, you could crop a photo and put it here so you could still see um, the paper behind. And the pretty, pretty papers. I just love it. This could be either a journaling spot or, um, you know, you could crop a photo there. And then a photo can go on the back. So this page, love this page. This is also a large pocket back here. I actually meant to make one more large photo mat. I will do that before this goes out to the recipient. Um, love the shape dies from Spellbinders here. I um, layered the flowers to the side there. And then, of course, your sentiment there. So a photo would go here. And this opens up this way for a nice photo there. And then you've got your great image right here. And I love how when the when this is closed, you can still see the spoon. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so then we got a big coffee cup here. You could put a photo, or if you like the coffee cup, you can leave it there. Then you could put a nice photo here, and then you've got a photo mat and a, another photo mat of course I have a this was in my stash this right here this lace is also something you can pick up at country craft creations and what I did with it was obviously I used my paper and then I um, I thought this was going to be tight enough that my my photo mats would not slide out but they started sliding out so what I did was I just took a dot of hot glue and I hot glued the bottom of my my lace down and you can still see um, the photo mats through it. I kind of like it. All right, now what do, where do we go from here? Ah, there we go. Then it opens like this. You've got a large area here for photos. Um, this side as well. You could put a nice um, five by seven photo there if you wanted. I made this little tuck spot with some more of the heart lace from Country Craft Creations and then the sentiment, the perfect blend, coffee with the friend, and then two um, journaling tags, and you could put photos on the back as well. All right, our last two pages. Um, this page is a little pocket page with a super cute, um, image here um, more of the heart lace and some of this pretty uh, navy trim I used another one of um, the little paper clips that I received in my design team package and we've got these little photo photos can go on the back always remember guys even though there's not paper here you can crop your photos to go on the backs of these these pretty tags so this opens like this. I forgot to mention that everything is magnetized. So, you know, a photo here. Um, you know, I don't know if you want to cover this up, but you always can. It's just not a problem. There's enough of the gorgeous paper that's going to show that it's totally fine. So this could be a large journaling tag. If you wanted, you could put a photo there. Um, you could put your photo back here and then, you know, journal here. And then this is another um, photo map. And then this is um, the cute little embellishment. I don't remember where I picked that up. I think I ordered it online somewhere. I've had it in my stash for a while. So this is also um, a pocket back here. All right, this page here is a gatefold page. And what I did was I used this sentiment, chow you bean, or yeah, I actually think it says how you bean, and that looks like a C to me, so I've been saying chow you bean, bean, <laughs> I feel silly, okay, so
So more layered flowers, flowers in the corner, this gorgeous lace from Country Craft Creations right down here. And then this opens up like this. So you could crop a photo and put it here. The sentiment, enjoy the moment. And then this tag, great journaling card with a photo spot on the back. And then, of course, a shaped photo mat. So that closes up like that. Then it opens up like that. So you have a nice space for a photo up at the top. You have another shaped uh, sentiment spot here. And if you want to put a photo here, you cover that up and you put a photo there. Um, I also have this little spot right here. And I'm going to take this tag so I can show you. You can tuck little things in there. And then this opens down. For another great photo spot or journaling there and then this pretty shape you can see like that and then of course you can put photos here I would actually just put my photo right over top of that so then underneath it still says simple pleasures so that closes up like that and this closes down like that and there you go we are all done I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope it inspired you. I'm actually um, going to make some cards.